You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Road Trans for our Black and White Sports. Well, we've got a situation here where we've got yet another ex athlete that is, frankly, relatively young, 40 years old, is still young these days. And in fact, you could say it's trending in a younger direction. As we keep going, year after year, 40 becomes younger and younger, it seems. With some of the technological advances we've made in medicine, then again, maybe some advances in medicine might not be helping us out too much. And I'm sure you guys can read between the lines on that statement. But it seems we really don't know what really happened to Stanley Wilson Jr. In the case that name sounds familiar, he was a defensive back. Uh, with the Detroit Lions, his dad, Stanley Wilson Sr., played for the Cincinnati Bengals. Well, Stanley Wilson Jr. is dead. He is dead at 40 years old. He collapsed and died at a mental hospital. We don't know what's going on here exactly. Stanley Wilson Jr., a former Detroit Lions cornerback and son of ex-Bengals running back Stanley Wilson Sr., has died after collapsing at a mental hospital earlier this month. TMZ has learned Wilson Jr. had been in police custody following his vandalism arrest in August, but according to prosecutors, he was declared incompetent to stand trial and was transferred from county jail to the Metropolitan State Hospital in Los Angeles County on February 1st. Now, I'm just going to let you think... And, and, and muse on the mandates that are uh, being enforced in Gavin Newsom's California and that has been for quite some time, I'm sure. Let's keep going here. But law enforcement sources tell us that during intake at the medical facility, which speciali specializes in care for those with mental issues, he collapsed and died. Our sources say foul play is not expected. Uh, autopsy results are pending toxicology. Wilson Jr. was just 40 years old. The former defensive back was taken by the Lions in the third round of the 2005 NFL Draft, and he went on to play three seasons for the team before suffering a career-ending Achilles injury prior to the beginning of the 08 season. After his NFL career has concluded, Wilson found himself in trouble with the law multiple times absolutely he's been in some trouble in 2016 he was charged with attempted burglary after he was shot in the abdomen after he allegedly attempted to break into a home in portland while completely nude months later in 2017 he was arrested after he was accused of walking around a portland neighborhood also while naked this is getting stranger and stranger he was arrested a third time in 2017 after another alleged attempted break-in. No word on whether or not he was naked then. In, the, in August, he was arrested once again for allegedly breaking into a home and then taking a bath in an outdoor fountain after ransacking the place. Wow. Wilson Jr. played 32 games in his pro football career, logging eight pass breakups a forced fumble, and 87 total tackles. Uh, now, let's go back up here real fast because I want to read this again. Uh, he was de declared, he was in police custody, declared incompetent, transferred from county jail to Metropolitan State Hospital. So it looks to me like he had been in custody and then had been transferred to the state hospital. So while they're doing toxicology reports, and I don't know how long he had been in custody, but um, it seems kind of strange that they they would think maybe, I guess he could have gotten a hold of something in there. I don't know. We also do not know what else he has taken in the last 18 months and put into his body. All we know is, yet again, another ex-athlete has just dropped dead at a relatively young age, 40 years old. Now, he no doubt has had some issues in his past. Uh, actually, I don't see anything that said anything blatant about any drug use, although I guess you could suspect it. Let me go back and just, just peruse this real fast. Um, 
No, I mean, no. I don't see anything here about any kind of uh, problems with, with drugs or anything of the sort like that. So who knows? And it does look like he may have had some mental health issues. Man, what is this? The second video today on somebody relatively young that has just collapsed and died. That's crazy. By the way, uh, in case you have not seen Matrix's video on DeMar Hamlin from yesterday, you might want to go watch it. Because Michael Strahan blatantly asked him, do you know what caused your incident to happen? He would not answer the question. Not really. It's rather interesting, in my opinion. I don't understand that. If you have a good idea, uh, particularly when a lot of people have a lot of questions about said incident right now, boy, you might clear a lot of things up for a lot of people. But no, guess not. Tell me what you think, black and white sports supporters. Peace them out. Till next time. Black and White Network supporters, make sure you go over and check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. 25% off USA First. 25% off USA First. Go now. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.